channel. My name is Brooke from Teach Over the Rainbow and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a tape dispenser using UV resin. Everything that I'm going to be using today in this tutorial is going to be linked in the description box below as well as any items from Amazon. Those are going to be linked in my Amazon storefront under YouTube tutorials. Before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because all the engagement helps. Let's get started. The tape dispensers that I use are the Amazon Basics that come in a pack of three. These are by far the best quality tape dispensers that you're going to find for the price. You need to start off by taking off the plastic piece that holds the tape in the tape dispenser as well as this metal piece that cuts the tape on the tape dispenser. If you slide it and wiggle it out, it should come out pretty easy. Just take these two pieces and set them off to the side because if you lose them, then your tape dispenser is useless. Next, you're going to use three inch painter's tape to cover the bottom of the tape dispenser. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're going to have a base spray paint of white if you're doing the pencil style, which is the one I'm doing today. Some people that make these don't do anything with the bottom section of the tape dispenser. I don't do that. I have them fully finished because I think your price point can be higher and they look a lot better. Make sure that your painter's tape is nice and taut right there on the edges because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to trim it around so that your lines can be nice and crisp. I just do mine one half at a time. It's just a lot easier and there's not so much bulky tape in the way. So you're just gonna use a really sharp X-Acto knife and go along the edges of the tape dispenser. And that way there, your lines can be nice and crisp when you go to spray paint and no spray paint will get underneath the tape dispenser. Then you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side, making sure the tape is nice and taut, and then you're gonna trim it with your sharp X-Acto knife. This next part, you're gonna cover this intersection right here with a piece of tape. And it's very obnoxious and very annoying, but it's necessary because this piece right here is gonna slide in and out of there. And if you spray paint that part, that paint is eventually gonna come off and it's gonna be scratched and it's gonna look raggedy. So you need to take a piece of tape and cover that section so that it doesn't doesn't get spray painted and it stays black. So when I say you're gonna ride the struggle bus trying to get this little piece trimmed out, you're going to, but please do not be lazy and take the time to do it because if you don't and the spray paint gets up under there, after they've moved that plastic arm that holds the tape back and forth a few times, that spray paint is gonna scratch and it's not gonna look good. This is what it looks like after that section has been covered with painter's tape. Now, before you base paint it white, you're going to need to sand down these little edges that are on the sections from the top to the bottom because they can be a little bit uneven and it feels rough. And when you go to glitter, it, it just looks bumpy because the sections from the top part of the tape dispenser and the bottom aren't always perfectly even. Now that it's been sanded, you can see that the section from the top and the bottom are nice and even and there's no sharp edges and nothing is sticking out. I always use a matte spray paint for my base on any projects that I'm doing because I just feel like everything else adheres better when it's a matte spray paint. The reason why I'm using a base spray paint on this project is because I'm going to have multiple different colors that are going to be on this tape dispenser. Starting with a single light base color with your projects is going to make your project look a lot better because each section is starting at zero with it being white. And this is what it looks like after two coats of the matte spray paint from Color Shot. There's two ways that you can color the different sections of your pencil style tape dispenser. One way is to use alcohol inks in place of spray paints. This is a good option because these dry really fast, but if you're making a lot of them like I do, this can get kind of expensive. It isn't really the way to go. We need to start sectioning off the different parts of the pencil. So the first part we're going to section off is the silver portion of the pencil. You're gonna take your painter's tape, you're gonna line it up straight along that bottom opening and you're gonna take it and make it nice and tight and pull that tape straight. Make sure your lines are nice and straight and you're gonna pull it tight. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have our silver section sectioned off, we're gonna section off our pink part. We're just gonna go halfway down that box and then do the same thing, pulling the tape tight on one side, making sure that it's pressed down really good and then repeating the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna cover the black portion of the pencil design which is this section right here with our painter's tape. I just line my tape up right there on the bottom where the metal piece is going to go, and then I pull my tape straight. If you pull it down, it's gonna be at an angle. You don't want that, you want it to be straight. It's okay if it puckers, it doesn't matter. You're just wanting your lines straight. 
So make sure you're pulling both sides of the tape straight. Pull off the excess tape from one side and then take that long piece and meet it where the other tape is on the other side so that everything lines up nice and perfect and straight. And then take some extra tape and go ahead and cover off the tip of what will be the lead portion of the pencil design. And now we're gonna section off the wooden portion of the pencil design by using painter's tape and putting it right there at the bottom of that opening. And then again, making sure that when you're pulling down the tape that your lines are nice and straight and they're not at an angle. Since I'm not using alcohol inks to color my sections, these are the spray paints that I'm using. This part has to be brown and this part has to be pink. And then this middle section needs to be covered because I don't wanna get any overspray on there. Once I have the middle section covered, I just cover this end very lightly so that when I spray paint the brown, I'm not getting it on my pink section. You can move on to spray painting the brown and then move on to spray painting the pink section. Once that dries, you can apply your UV resin to the pink section. Try not to get the UV resin on the tape. Just lightly put the UV resin on there and then apply your glitter so that when you pull your tape off after you're doing the second coat of UV resin, the tape will pull off clean. Go ahead and pop it under your UV light to cure. Then you can remove this middle section of tape if you want to. If you want to leave it there because it makes it easier to handle the tape dispenser, you can. Then you're going to apply a generous coat of UV resin. Make sure you spread that UV resin evenly over all the sections that have just been glittered. Once you are done spreading it, you can remove the guide tape off of it and then put it under your UV light to cure. Next, you can apply a light coat of UV resin to the brown sections. Try not to get it onto the tape portion. Once you have it spread evenly, you can go ahead and apply your glitter. And then once you're done, you can put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's cured, you can apply a generous coat of UV resin to the part that you just glittered. Make sure that you have a really good coverage of UV resin over the brown glitter. And once you're done, you can peel off the guide tape and then you can go ahead and put it under your UV light to cure. Now that your pink and brown sections are done, we need to spray paint the gray and the black section. But before we do that, we need to cover up the sections that we've already glittered so we don't get any overspray on those parts. You also need to cover the middle section, which will be later spray painted yellow, and then lightly cover the gray section so that when you're spray painting your black first, you don't get any black on that part. Once that's covered, you can spray paint the black portion of your pencil design, which will be the lead. You can peel off the cover that's covering the gray and then spray paint that gray. Once that's dry, you're gonna go back in and add another coat of the UV resin to the gray section and try not to get it on the tape if you can help it and then apply your glitter. And then once that's done, you can put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's cured, you can add a generous coat of UV resin, making sure to cover all of the sections of the silver that you just glittered. After that, you can peel off the guide tapes that you've put in place to protect the other sections and then put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's cured and you're ready to glitter the black section of your tape dispenser, you need to be careful not to get resin or glitter in this section of the tape dispenser because your metal clip has to go down into that little slot. And if you get glitter or resin back in that little section of the tape dispenser, it won't fit back in and then you won't be able to cut your tape with the metal clip. Now you can add just a little bit of UV resin and I didn't slow this part down so that you can see what I'm talking about, about where you need to put the UV resin. So just be very careful and go slow so that you're not getting any UV resin in that section. This is the area and what it should look like with no UV resin in it. Once you have your UV resin on, you can go ahead and add your black glitter and this is what it should look like when you have no UV resin and no glitter in that section where your metal clip is going to go. There is some on there, but you'll be able to brush it off. Then you can go ahead and put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's cured, you can add a generous coat of UV resin, but you still need to be really careful not to get it in that section where the metal clip is going to go. So just take your time. Once you have your UV resin on there, you can take off your guide tape from around the black portion and put it under your UV light to cure. Now that the pink, silver, black, brown sections are done, we need to cover those sections so that we can spray paint the middle yellow. Make sure your pieces of guide tape are pulled nice and taut and pushed along the sections that are already completed so no spray paint gets underneath there. Y'all, this doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be covered. Once the sections that are completed are covered, you can take it outside and spray paint your yellow. Once that's dry, you can add a light coat of UV resin onto the yellow section of the tape dispenser. When you're adding this UV resin, you wanna be really careful to not get any UV resin down inside of the tape dispenser. 
I don't put glitter down in that section. I just find it really hard to get it smooth and look good. Once you have your light coat of UV resin on there, you can go ahead and add your glitter. If you get glitter down in that middle section, just flip it over and tap it out and then put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's cured, you're gonna add a generous coat of UV resin and you're gonna spread it all over the yellow section that you just glittered. But like I stated before, you need to be careful not to get any UV resin down inside the middle section of the tape dispenser. Then you can remove your guide tapes that were covering the other portions of your tape dispenser and put it under your UV light to cure. Once that's done curing, you're gonna wanna put another coat of the UV resin over the entire tape dispenser. So you can either do this in sections, one side at a time, uh, because it becomes difficult to handle once you have UV resin over the whole thing or you can put your hand in this middle section and UV resin it like that and then cure it. Once you have that nice thick coat on that makes it nice and smooth, you can take it outside and sand off any rough spots that are on there. If you don't have a sander, you can just use sandpaper and do it by hand as well. Now we need to trim out the different sections of our tape dispenser. I'm using 11 and a half by 0.15 strips of vinyl that I cut with my Cricut. The type of vinyl that I'm using is like a glitter vinyl and it can be found in the description. Once you're done with that, you can personalize it by adding a name. Now that you have your trim and your name on, you're gonna put one final coat of UV resin to seal in the trim and the name so it doesn't come off. After you have it all covered, you're gonna put it in your UV light to cure one final time. Now that everything is sealed in and smooth, you're gonna take that metal clip that you took out in the very beginning and put it back in the slot so that the tape can be cut and then you can put your arm back in the tape dispenser. Alrighty friends, I hope that tutorial helps. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching and happy crafting.